All right, here we go. We have a model that is pretty set. Um, our oil wash is, for the most part, dried. I can see in the deep crevices we got a little bit of a little bit of a wetness still, but I think we're more than more than ready to to work with this guy. So again, we've got our, our clean pool from earlier. I'm not going to be using these other ones. Um, we'll just clean them out using the clean pool once we're done. Uh, I've got a bunch of Q-tips. I use um, dollar store brand Q-tips. I've, I've purchased the actual Q-tip brand with the cotton buds and for whatever reason, the actual cotton or, or uh, higher cotton count seems to pull off a lot more kind of wisps. Um, you can see these ones are, are quite, quite tightly spun. Um, these like synthetic kind of garbage ones, uh, which means they actually work a lot better for us. Uh, this is another one I picked up at just like a superstore. You can see it's a little bit fuzzier. These ones will leave a lot bigger mess, and actually the uh, the white spirit seems to kind of break down these uh, just the fibers on the end. So unfortunately, I was I was excited to try those and they didn't work out very well. So the uh, the tighter wound they are, the better. The less cleanup we have to do. You can also use little makeup sponges or makeup. Uh, I think I have a little chunk here. Something like this. Or you can get them on little applicator sticks as well with like a little kind of sponge, reusable sponge in the end. And they work fine. Um, just after a while, you just kind of have to throw them out because they get kind of dirty. So our, uh, our oil paint has set and we are ready to start pulling it off. We're not pulling it off so much. We're just cleaning off the, the flat panels. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to move the... The other stuff out of the frame so it can focus on the mech. There we go. So I'm just going to be, if you see me reaching, I'm just reaching for the clean, clean mineral spirit. I'll, I'll show you the first, uh, first kind of dab here. But so all I'm doing is I'm just kind of touching it into the, into the liquid. I'm wicking off the excess. I don't want it to be like soaking wet, just kind of damp. And then what I'm going to be doing is just kind of lightly passing over all the all the raised edges. I'm not pushing down into the crevices, and because it's kind of got a conical head, it just kind of skips across the surface. And you'll see that it see it starting to pull off all the stuff on the raised raised panels and components. And then, because we've got a rounded object passing over flat square surfaces, uh, it's not going down into the crevices, and it's leaving all that black in there. And see that we're not pulling up any other color other than the black. And it's it's very quick, very satisfying actually to do a big big force of like this. You get your eight to ten ten guys on. You put a, some music on in the background or a, or a show or something, and it's quite quite relaxing. So again, you never have to push very hard. I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, get another switch over to the clean end and get some more uh, cleaner on there. Um, you never want to push very hard. If you push, you could go through the varnish layer or, or the paint layer um, just through force because it is a cleaning cleaning compound, right? So it's not naturally going to rip off the uh, the paint, the cured, the, the cured paint. But <clears throat> if you agitate it with force, like with physical pressure, uh, then it does have the chance to get underneath the paint, and that would be bad. Yeah, you can see quite a, quite a bit coming off. Uh, and we still have it. It's still nice and dark in the recesses, but we're getting a lot more of the bold color back. And you have to be a little careful. I think we just snagged a piece. Yeah, see on the left side, or I guess right side facing us, but left side of the emblem there, we snagged a little bit off. Um, I only put one thin layer of varnish. And while the cured paint is very protected and will not be uh, affected by the... The cured, cured acrylic paint, sorry, won't be affected by the mineral spirits. The decal will. The decals will. So when I was doing my my berserker again as a test test subject, uh, I kind of obliterated one and a half decals there by accident. So I, I like these these Q-tips especially because they don't start to fray and rip apart. See, it's, it keeps most of its shape. Um, if you're using the other Q-tips, you're going to have to make a pass uh, after you're done the model to pull off all the little kind of white wispy cotton pieces just so that they don't show up in your finished finish model. 
Yeah, and see, it just cleans off all of the little streaks and bits that we don't want on there. I'm going to clean off the barrels because I've already done those. I'm going to leave the stuff inside the barrels, the little, little bit of black that we dropped in there. Same with the uh, canopy. I'm going to leave it. I don't want to, I don't want to stab and like rub kind of where these rings are, where the dome rings are. They reinforced it. Rings there. But I do want to get the flat part of the panel or flat part of the, the cockpit. Um, also, if you're doing something that's more heavily weathered, a lot of times uh, if I'm pulling off either an oil wash or an enamel or something like that, um, I'll get I'll get to the point where I've cleaned it up too much. Like I wanted to maintain a little bit of a color differentiation. differentiation. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take the dirty Q-tip or the mildly dirty Q-tip and I'll just kind of like dab it kind of like this on a flat surface. Um, and then it's it's got a little bit of, it'll leave kind of a messy, messy tone like that. And it'll break up just the, the clean flat panel. Sometimes you'll pull off too much, like more than you want to. So instead of going back and reapplicating it, you can just kind of like get your Q-tip a little bit dirty and then just dab it on like that. So that's looking nice. And he is much darker uh, and has a lot more contrast than before. Let me pull that over the frame again. Before we started. I'm gonna, I've got my, my uh, camera lights kind of sandwiched between two or two lights up and my, my, my camera's in between them, so it's a little bit, there's a, kind of a dark spot, unfortunately, there. But we'll get some finished pictures up when we're done. Uh, so I think this looks great. I, I'm really happy with this. This looks pretty true to the box art. The last thing we're going to be doing after we let this dry is we will be doing the laser effects. And we'll probably come in and we'll do some small uh, colors just for like the very tips of the SRMs. It looks just plain black in the in the image, but... We'll see. Maybe we'll come in and we'll do some either some reds or some whites or something like that. Uh, just just to ver differentiate between the uh, SRM pack and the SRM tips themselves. And then we'll do some PPC glow, some medium laser glow on the front and back. And I think that is pretty much it. I'll actually probably reinforce these black stripes a little bit too because they look a little bit wispy compared to the yellow. But so we'll let that uh, we'll let that set. Uh, so here's the uh, here's the berserker I was working on. You can see I. Uh, I've done the same thing. I oil washed this guy and then I cleaned him off. Um, he's a little bit wet in the recesses. So see that 25 there looks fairly pristine because I didn't touch that one. But then you can see this one on the top on his uh, on his torso there. Uh, it got one layer of varnish protecting it, which the cleaner unfortunately kind of ate through quickly. Oh, and there's a little bit. See, this is this is dry. This guy was done a little while ago, and I can still just, with a little bit damp Q-tip, wipe off and pull off some residual stuff I'm seeing now. No problem. Yeah, oil oil washing is such an excellent tool to have in your toolkit. And uh, you could even just spray spray a model with a with a spray paint can. Let it cure, and then practice your oil washing with a black or a dark oil wash over the surface, and you'll pick it up really fast. Really fast. Awesome. Yeah, he looks he looks good too. Uh, let's see fix that. There we go. Perfect. Sometimes you'll see there'll be a little bit of a a texture as it dries, kind of a an mottled oil texture, oiled look, kind of like oil and water. I just either remove it or let it dry fully before you varnish it. Otherwise, it can skew colors a little bit. All right. And next up, we're going to be doing the the base while that dries. So well, that'll be next.